D Wade, I think you did something not a whole lot of guys can do. Sacrifice? You sacrifice. Now, it's one thing to sacrifice if we come together. But I'm already established here. I've already won a finals MVP. I've already the man here. And you asking me to come, you coming in my house and asking you to share? <laughs> you asking me to share? You, you, you want to sit at the head of the table when that's my head of the table? Now you want me to get out of my bed? Go, you going to get the big bed? How, how were you able to do that? Everybody can't do that, D-Wade. Everybody say that. Now, you know everybody get in front of the camera and they say, oh, yeah, <laughs> it don't matter. You know, I sacrifice oh, All day. But you know deep down everybody can't do what you did. Yeah. How and why? Well, why is easy. I wanted to win. Everybody say they want to win. Well. <laughs> they be lying to them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we said. Now, what's the action? Okay. And so... I wanted to win. Right. Be and the reason I wanted to win, because when I came in the game, this is what was said. Right. To be in this breath, in this conversation, you have to win championships. Right. Oh. Every generation is different. The conversation surrounding guys is different. I didn't have the Steph Curry range. I didn't have the Dame. Like, I wasn't going to put up 30,000 points. Right. So for me to put my name and sign my name in, in heaven... I wanted my game to be a uh, accumulation of it all. Right. But it needs to be win it needs to be led by winning. Correct. For me. Right. And so that wasn't a facade. And when the opportunities came, I always put myself in in a position to do that. Right. Right? And mm -hmm. so you can ask anybody who worked with me. Maybe most people who walk in a room with me in the meetings, and it could be a meeting for Wade Enterprises. I don't sit at the head of the table. I like to sit in the middle. I like to sit in the seats in the middle. I like to be amongst everybody and have conversations with everybody. Right. I don't want to be at the head. It's lonely at the head of the right. table. Right. And so when LeBron came and CB came, I was like, oh, you want to sit at the head? Cool. I'm going to go where I'm comfortable with because here's the thing. I haven't been a star my whole life. Right. I played so many roles my entire basketball career. Okay. And I think that's one of the reasons why I look at myself as one of the greatest players because I didn't do it one way. Right. I showed you how to be great in so many different ways and so mm -hmm. many different times. My game changed and evolved so much. Right. Right. And so to me, that's greatness as a basketball player. Right. And I wanted to challenge myself throughout my career to see if I could do stuff different. Right. Like, OK, 30 points a game, led the league in scoring, did that. What's next? Finals MVP, got that. Did Like, I'm all about, like, right. what's next? And so when the opportunity came in 2010, I was like, OK, this is another challenge for me to play with somebody I never thought I'd play with, with somebody I admire so much. But how can I play with a guy that I know is ball dominant right. when I become ball dominant? Right. Here go my challenge. And so I just you learn how to play off the ball. I learned. Well, I be, you, you want you see the back cuts? Yeah. Did you, you got a bunch of you got a bunch you, of dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did you? Man, I, I you like my Tony, game. You like Tony Parker and Ginobili with all them. <laughs> <laughs> you run an old Princeton offense, back door to everybody. Change my game. 